Alright guys, I thought I'd just bring you a couple of clips from uh, some of my ranked games, and I thought I'd run you guys through that some of the strats uh, that I like to do. Uh, so this first one is an Oregon, I've got Diffuse and I'm playing Ace, so I immediately drone out Tower to go and secure Upper Tower, uh, where the Connector Corridor is. I found it really fucking weird that oh, that wasn't that. reinforced, uh, as you can see by my, the way my drone's looking around. Uh, so after I'd cleared tower, I still go in, very cautious, because, you know, normally people don't actually uh, leave that unreinforced, uh, which is what confused the shit out of me, so unless they're baiting it, they normally uh, will leave that reinforced. Break so I breached channel. Charles' right-hand side, so I've got cover from the crate. And then I'm going to push down here, put pressure on the bandit, I'm and I'm going to sell him the mirror wall so that There's I can clear it so that these guys don't get peat. So Scott and the, the, the random window. move into objective, I'm going to try and put more pressure on the bandit. I hear the bandit move slightly to the left of the mirror wall, so I drop down, take the risk, and headshot him. So what there is took a massive risk doing that, because obviously when you drop down, you I'm A, make me. a lot of noise, and B, you do... Put yourself in a point of vulnerability. My thought process during that clip is that the bandit would not be peeking the mirror from too wide of an angle because it'd be very easy for me to headshot him, which he didn't, so that's why I adjusted to the slight crouch height around the side of that wall, and that's what got me the headshot. I love the AK reload, so good. So this next clip is me playing a bit of Jaeger on defense, uh, same map again. Uh, I do believe it was also the same match, uh, so I'm going to run you through my tactics and my thoughts during this round. So to start off, uh, we have Pyro playing Mira. So obviously with Mira you want to be able to defend her position. But first things first, I thought I'd just get a couple of uh, cameras put on. Realise you couldn't put the camera on the bomb, so I'd try and put it on the next best place where it can't be easily grenaded or shot at. So I thought I'd put it on this tiny little bit of wall so it's able to watch Freezer and also watch the bottom of the tower approach. Uh, reinforcing freezer is really important. Unless so, uh, so you have you a mirror that can confidently freeze. hold off the corridor, it's probably best to just keep that reinforced. Uh, so I'm going to rotate around here, put a Jaeger device in here to stop any grenades coming through freezer. Uh, I stopped the grenade plant. I stopped the ADS plant because of the drone and decided to move the ADS to the bottom of the stairs, which I, is a place where I'm most likely to hold uh, and is most likely to catch grenade traffic. I put one here to catch any grenades coming through blue, but I changed my mind in case anybody wants to hold the rotate on this angle. Notice how we've gone into the match now, so uh, people should normally be off their drones by now. Uh, but you'll see in a couple of seconds why uh, I get this little kill. Uh, so I give my last ADS to Pyro so that he's got a little bit of a protected position in case anyone tries fragging him from above or behind. You see in here I notice there's still a drone, which makes me think that's weird. So I preemptively go to this double door and I hear Sledge, and there he goes. So yeah, that's uh, just my thought process during that, is like someone's droning me inside the cupboard, which is one of the most obvious spots. Uh, so I thought, on a whim, I'd go and check out the door, I hear the, I go to pre-fire, hear the hammer What's slam, yeah, and sledge goes right. down. Uh, it was a coordinated assault, as you can see from the guy trying to shoot me from Freezer, who's currently about to get eviscerated by Scott and yeah, me. Ryan. There goes Ryan. No, there's two! And there One goes sound. me. Knock his down, so yeah, that's going to be the, the end of that clip. Uh, but that is basically just commentary for this. Uh, if you guys like the commentary, please let me know, and I'll do some more. Alright, so this next clip is me playing Wub Wub Woman, also known as Malusi. So I can tell you about my spots, and also my thought process. You put a bulletproof camera there, so I can watch the corridor, and also it can't get shot. Uh, primarily you want to put the Malusis where they can't regularly be seen or shot for unless it's from a certain angle you see i was trying to hit the wall so i'd be able to wub wub through that but it cannot uh i do put a wub wub there so it well, does affect spot. over the top of the balcony but it can't be shot and has to be meleeed uh, until the opponent reaches a different side notice zag was putting a hole in that wall so i put a wub wub there in case somebody did decide to go through there a barricade off the corridor so i can hold it more effectively uh, I don't know much about Emerald Plains, so uh, I try and think of places where I can put my Wub Wubs so that they can be most effective. You see I picked that up so uh, I could put it there, but then realise this is probably the best spot since I'm actually 
uh, watching most of Upstairs Corridor, uh, because I'll be anchoring most of this game. Like you got super shit. Um, during this game we did have a random, because Pyra disconnected, as uh, Pyra's shitty internet oh, will do. On this window. Uh, I hear a noise on this window, and pre-fire when I hear the breach round. Zach killing that the, now. I do believe that was Ash. Now this quickly, team was uh, actually quite decent time, most of the time, time. Okay, good uh, so you had to be very very careful on what you did against them because they would okay. fuck you over There's really really <laughs> easily. Uh, as you can see I try and take the pixel peek but then I notice Zag is next to me and decide to move away so that in case they did rush us two of us didn't get killed your, uh, at the same time. Uh, I probably kind of made a mistake here, I really shouldn't have peeked that, uh, especially with Siege hit reg and my shitty accuracy. So I got reduced down to 12 health and tried to move towards the back of the objective. Uh, then went to sweep stairs and we'll see the cap can get absolutely murked in a couple of seconds as he was stuck himself underneath the window which he shouldn't have done. Uh, as predicted, people do try and push nades through that unreinforced wall, so it was good that I moved away from it. And I try and anchor stairs now that the cap can's been killed and I'm the only one in objective. I anticipated someone would push from this window, so I try and hold a pixel peek and see how well I can do, which nets me a nice headshot. It's gone down to a 3v2 as Luke has gone down. I think that was Luke. Yep, Luke is now dead. Uh, so it's down to just me and Zag. So I rotate out to help engage the sledge, uh, which was called by Luke as being downed. Uh, then I move back into objective yeah, to me, prevent the glass from moving in. So I'm just going to stay anchoring, trying to support Zag. And Zag gets the last kill, helping us win that match. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, you thought that would... <laughs> So this is going to be a nice little clip of me getting two headshots uh, by pre-firing a window when somebody pushes through it. Uh, so we fought this squad before and they had a Ash and Lion. So I knew they were going to rush as soon as he turned the Lion on. So I activated the ERC and hearing a noise I sprinted for the window ready to pre-fire. And there we go. Two headshots and I think I managed to clip someone. So that's my little thought process in that strategy.